Hey everybody. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about what is a payments hub. Now, what is a payments hub? A payments hub is something that's really needed in the industry because we have so many different ways of doing a payment. In fact, a lot of people say the industry is fragmented, that there's so many different options out there that makes it hard to decide what really to do or what really to offer. Now, reality is I think we need to have all those options because everybody processes a little bit different. Everybody has a little bit different needs and each payment channel that's out there, it meets a different requirement or it meets a different need. It works in a way to be able to accommodate multiple different industries. But a payments hub itself, if you go look at the definition, it can kind of get a little confusing because, well, I found a whole bunch without doing much you know, research on this. But the way I look at a payments hub, the way I understand a payments hub, is it's kind of like being here at the airport. We have people coming in from all over the world to one location so that they can be distributed or get to where they need to be. We have multiple airlines. The multiple airlines could represent the multiple different types of payments, but they come to one location. Because what a payments hub is, or the way it really works that I understand it at least, is that a financial institution will offer a payments hub or a software provider will offer a payments hub so we can take that fragmentation where we've got all those different payments and we can consolidate it into one area, one location that works as a hub for all of our payments so that we're able to work with multiple different types of payments, be able to work with, in this case, maybe even multiple vendors that are out there to get everything into one location, get everything to where it works best for us. In my opinion, that's what a payments hub is, or at least just to simplify it, make it easier for you. Adding to the payments hub analogy, I'm actually at a bus, or a, sorry, a train station now. So I took a plane to be able to get to, well, let's say Atlanta, right? I get around the Atlanta airport and we can see that that works like a payments hub where we have similar types of payments that go in the same place. Well now here, if you look behind me, you'll see that I'm actually at a train station. When you get to the train station, then you got an option of getting on where you can get in a car or back there, there's even buses. There's even some people that are on bicycles. So what you can see sometimes with the payments hub is that people come in and there's different types of payments. Payments moving in different ways or payments moving at different speeds. And the hub is a central location where they can be collected. Sometimes they can be accelerated or they can be distributed, moved around as they need to be. So just adding a little bit more to the payments hub analogy and how it works. You got more questions? We'd like to learn more about payments hubs or anything in general when it comes to the well basics of banking because that's what these Monday videos are for or anything in the electronic banking space, let me know. Put it in the comments below. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and have a great day.